Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ilya Toporia. Who is he fighting? What are we doing? Who Why is this Twitter game sounding like a crazy ex-girlfriend? And Max Holloway is trolling the dude, and I think Ilya Toporia is going the wrong way of trying to get a fight with Max Holloway. Because it looks bad. In this video, we're going to go through the Twitter beef, we're going to go through where we're going with this, and how I think this is going to play out, and some advice for Ilya Toporia's whole team, because somebody needs to lose their job. Let's get let's get some warm lighting in here to set the mood. That's going to be the intro for this video. Let's get started. Str straight into the how did this all start. All you need to really understand. Max Holloway KOs Justin Gacy. I'm sure all of you guys have already seen the video. I'm not going to show you the video again just because of how many times you guys have seen it. Y'all have seen it. It's impressive. Ilya Toporia comes out and says... Nah, I thought I lost it. Ilya Toporia says, Congrats on your performance, man. Respect to your story and everything you've achieved with a beautiful family. So, pretty wholesome. Pretty wholesome. Pretty long tweet, though. That's all, that's all I'm going to really say here. P pretty, pretty long tweet. Hopefully, we're going to stay with the octagon before the end of the year. Trust me, you're going to feel something you've never felt before. Sus. I will be the first one to take your lights out. Phil um, Philippians 413. We're going to have a Bar Bible quote off. Um, the verse says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Pretty good. If I had to rate this Bible quote, I'd probably say that's a solid B, B plus, B plus. I I'd put that into a good tier list position. Good job for Ilya Topori on there. Pretty long tweet. All you really... We're going to get to what he could have done. And even Daniel Cormier kind of like gives him some tips because he's going about this the wrong way. But overall, not too bad. Not too bad. And then Max Holloway claps back. It's all love, champ. I'll be seeing you soon. Jeremiah 5120. Let's take a look at Jeremiah. You are my war club, my weapon for battle. With you I scatter nations. With you I destroy kingdoms. That's a tough one to beat. If we're going to do the Bible quote off, I would have to give this one 10-8 Max Holloway. Just that little bit better. Maybe even a 10-9. Not, It's just a little bit better. But you see the styles in tweeting, okay? We got Ilya Toporia with this. Okay? like that, that That's a lot. We don't need all that. Most people don't have time to read all that when we're strolling through X. Like, you can get away with one of these. You don't have to explain anything. Max Holloway is hitting us with the sort, concise, quote, simple thing, boom, done. Max Holloway has experienced being a champion. He realizes how sort the attention span is of MMA fans. That's all you really need. But then, some talking goes ahead, and Ilya Toporia and Max Holloway starts beefing some more. Ilya Toporia asks for the BMF title. That's all you really need to know, and then Max Holloway says it's questionable for him to be a BMF champion. And then Ilya Topora gets all butthurt and types out this. The only thing questionable about me is whether I would finish you by KO or submission. I just beat the guy that beat you not once, not twice, but three times. You now have the one thing that keeps you relevant and that would grant you a money fight. The BMF belt. Okay. Already this is too much. Ilya. You don't have to be doing all of this, pal. Like, dude, th this is already too long. Like, you don't need to explain this much. But we keep going. I no longer fight for money, but for legacy. What? Okay. Ilya, you, you wanted a Conor McGregor fight. I'm sorry. Like, I I'm calling Cap immediately on that one. You have been asking for money fights. We're still fighting for money. Okay, well, like, we, let, let's not let's not go past that. You didn't have to say that. And saying Max Holloway is only chasing the money fights is is kind of crazy. I'm not like I'm not even gonna lie. Max Holloway's a dude who fought the Korean zombie in Singapore. There wasn't a lot of money in that. He just wanted something to do. Max Holloway wants to fight. So do you. So I don't understand where you're going with this one. Winning that belt while holding my title will cement me as the first to hold both belts. He's talking about the BMF belt and the undisputed title which yeah it would make you the first but th th that's not a crazy achievement it really isn't like that's one of those achievements where it's like um, imagine being the first person to run a marathon wearing neon pink swords like yeah you have that title but it's not as impressive as winning the marathon 
You see what I'm saying? Like, that, it just doesn't work as much. I don't know why he's getting all pressed about it. The first to knock out Volk, and what most certainly will happen when we fight. So, being the first to KO Max Holloway, that would be the more impressive of both the achievements. So, let me assume, first to knock out Volk, something will happen in our fight. The first to put you to sleep, yes. Something to calm you down is this. God doesn't say anyone, you will have... You will have a worthy defeat against a champion who will be remembered for eternity. I decide who, I decide who, when, and where. If you don't like the terms, I'm sure Ortega will oblige. Okay, Max Holloway, the only thing that he, like, questioned you on is whether you would be able to get the BMF title. That's a genuine question. Because my biggest problem with the BMF title has been the picky and choosy of who gets to have it after they beat the BMF champion. And that's not really your fault. That's Masvidal's fault. In my mind, Leon Edwards technically is a BMF champion. Because, okay, let's say this. The only way you can get the BMF title is if you knock out the past person who had it. Okay? Let, let, let's assume that. Masvidal got KO'd by Kamaru Usman, making Kamaru Usman the BMF champion. And then he got KO'd by Leon Edwards. Therefore, Leon Edwards is technically the welterweight BMF champ. Even if you don't want to go by that, and it has to be somebody who doesn't have a title, if that, like that's a weird rule I'm hearing passed around. You can't be an undisputed on a BMF. I don't get that. Masvidal lost to Colby Covington, and that fight was supposed to be for the BMF title. I don't understand where, where it goes up for grabs and where it doesn't. I was happy Justin Gacy put it up for grabs because there is no precedent to put the BMF belt up for grabs aside from helping sell a pay-per-view. UFC 300 didn't really need that all that much. Max Holloway versus Justin Gacy would have been a wild either way. So yeah, I understand what Ilya is saying, but to be fair, I don't know what, what what's the criteria to put the BMF belt up for grabs. That's a genuine question, and I understand why they haven't cemented this because I could see a scenario where the UFC's like. No, we're not going to put the BMF belt up for grabs because we can sell Max Holloway versus whoever and just make it for the BMF title. That, that, that's the point I'm trying to make with that one. And then, after this, Ilya Toporia must have been getting in all of his feels because he then he makes this tweet. I've never turned down the rematch with Alex as the UFC... Oh, okay, okay. The reason that he had to go out treating this is because he ended this one with, I'm Sir Ortega would oblige. He's really threatening. He, he's threatening Max Holloway with skipping him for a title shot and giving it to Brian Ortega. You, dude, I understand that is an insult in and of itself to give it to Ortega over anybody. Because, let's be real here, Ortega should not be getting another title shot. Not for a while, at the very least. Like, I think Ortega has to fight somebody like Aljamain before we can give him a title shot. Honestly. That could be the next number one contenders. So I understand the insult there, but understand, Ilya, what you're going to have to deal with in the lead up to the Max Holloway fight is going to be something that you can either do very well at or you're going to crumble. Ilya Dobor, you're going to be going into a press conference being booed. You are going to have to play the heel for this one, and I think you could do it well because you tried to play the heel against Volkanovski, but got trolled, and it kind of it, it didn't super work out for you in the buildup. You tried to do the Connor routine. It didn't really work out. If you were finished by Volkanovski, it would be one of the funniest endings of a buildup I've ever seen. But you won, so it kept going. Max Holloway is willing to play the heel game with you. You can get a good buildup out of this. You can get a good main event or a co-main event spot to somebody like Jones or Adesanya. That's, a, that's where you used to be lobbying for. Where you're making a mistake is just about every tweet you're making is sounding like you are negotiating for a fight with Max Holloway. You are the champion. You, you you don't have to do that. Like, this is looking bad. I'm not... Okay. After all that, people start making fun of him, saying that he's ducking Volkanovski and Max Holloway. So he makes this tweet. I've never turned down the rematch with Alex, as the UFC has never offered me this fight. As I've said many times before, I will be the first to knock out Holloway. Let's keep this simple. Do you want to fight? If the answer is yes, there's nothing more to discuss. Bring my belt and... Yeah, bring my belt and your pillow. You All you had to do is just do this. Okay? If you, like, skip this entire Twitter beef and just put this, that would have been it. Daniel Cormier suggested, and I think this would have been pretty baller, all you had to say 
was give a date of when, a time frame that you want to fight. You can name like UFC 305, UFC 308. You can name one of those. Or you can just give a date of when, when you want to fight. And then say something sort and sweet like, bring your silver and I'll bring my gold. Oh, that's all you had to say. And, and we would have hyped that up. You can make a little promo video with your little production company and that would have been cool. But I'm going to be real with you. If I start trolling you on the internet and you hit me with this shit, dog, I am 100% going to be making fun of you on the JRE saying that you're texting like somebody's angry ex-girlfriend. Who the hell types this much? You're a professional cage fighter, not an amateur author. We're good. And can we stop with the rose roses, please? I get it. But now people are trolling you with it. And Max Holloway ends it off. Bro, you're the one making this hard enough already. Bring your belt. The missing motherfucker belt. I, I gotta give this one to Max Holloway because he knows how to handle this situation and he is doing it pretty well. All you're doing is putting words together now. You're spiraling. Agree, dude. Ilya is spiraling in this buildup and I don't understand why. You are the champion of a division. Like... like it just wasn't needed. And then more roses. Because I think at this point, Ilya realizes that he's not going to win this by typing out a paragraph to prove to the fans that, oh, well, I'm the more BMF of the BMFs. Like, no, you're not winning this. You can, you can see in the engagement here, everything Max Holloway's getting, 30,000 likes. You look at Ilya Toporia, 10,000. 21,000 at the very most. 41,000 for the response. 31,000 for him saying that th this was the best that he got because it came off positive. Max Holloway's winning this. Every single time he's, he's getting the better of this. In most of the comments, I'm not even kidding you, like, let's, let's look at this. Dude, you're not the BMF though. What don't you get? Most annoying champ ever, maybe. Holloway is afraid of losing his BMF title. You got one dude. You got one dude. Like, but... Chill, Max is going to give you trouble. This is bad. If anybody remembers watching the broadcast base, zoom over to Ilya Toporia when Max Holloway... Okay, and Max Holloway has already pro given you a promo. He, he's, he's made fun of your El Matador name and says, The Matador is running from the bull. That's a clever line after KOing somebody. And they give you the camera and you look like you're looking for your mom at a Macy's. Like, come on. Put your title up too, otherwise I'll say you have doubts about beating Holloway. Of course you would put the title up. What 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 the hell is Tanner talking about right now? Ilya is losing fans' respect in how he's approaching this fight. Agreed. Drew G is definitely on this one. Also, follow my Twitter if you want. Kate Side Convos, real Kate Side. We we can have discussions like this on there. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video kind of giving Ilya a little bit of tips. All you really had to do, if you want to type out a lot. Just type out this, put a picture up, do a little promo video, and you're done. That's all you had to do. None of this. You're getting trolled, buddy. And yeah, fight Max Holloway later this year. Either try to be the co-main of a, either try to be the main event of a Spain card with Marab Devals Vili Versano Mali as the co-main, or you could do the co-main to John Jones versus Stipe or Tom. That would have been dope. Israel Adesanya versus Hamzat Shemaev if Adesanya reclaims the belt. Drakus versus Shemaev. You could do that as the co-main. You could get a lot of good pay-per-view spots, but do not fumble this and just handle this promo a bit better. That's all I'm going to be making the video about. That was today's video. If we, I had some sound issues with this. That's why it took longer than usual. So if the sound works, you know it worked. If this video isn't up, you know why. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody for supporting this channel. We're almost up to 10,000 subscribers. That means the absolute most. Start telling me what you want for the 10K special. I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. And if you want a suggestion for videos, go into the Discord link is in the description down below. And if you want to check out my second channel, Ethan on Everything, where I cover everything, I just made a video about apocalypses in gaming that I would survive in a tier list. That's also going to be in a link in the description down below. Just click it. Means the absolute most to me, the support you give me. Adios, guys. Peace.